All right, so I'm gonna do a little unboxing here for the Big Tree Tech Skylights. It's my second board, but I didn't do this for the first one, and I'm not normally an unboxer, but I'm sure some people who are interested in this might want to see what's uh, actually in this box. I buy these from uh, AliExpress. Uh, the delivery's pretty quick, actually. About, about seven days to Canada. So anyways, here, here's uh, what the box looks like. Uh, the Skyla version 1.0 board. And inside the box, you get the little big tree ducky. These are uh, connectors and pins, but I don't I don't use these things because they're too uh, too small. I've got the crimper, but as you get older, uh, you're not gonna want to mess around with these little pins. So they they give you all the uh, connectors. Uh, if you can see that, and then these tiny pins, you need a, a special crimper for it. But it's so small. I mean. You, when you're working with uh, really fine gauge wire too, it typically uh, it's gonna break off in there. Or that's been my experience, anyways. So, what else is in this box? Some kind of card. Thank you card. You're gonna want to keep these uh, jumpers, the PCB type jumpers. You get a USB C cable. Uh, so USB A to USB C. This uh, is for connecting uh, an external controller, I believe, but I, I didn't actually use that cable. I haven't got into that yet. You get a little sticker, big tree tech sticker. There's a heat sink for your uh, CPU. I haven't put that on my other board yet, but I haven't had any problems with it. And the last thing you get is this uh, control board. So it's pretty much, uh, it's bare on the back side. Uh, yeah, it's got their little label on there. It's not much going on there. There are some labels, actually. I didn't, I didn't notice that the last time I uh, took a look at it because it was upside down, but it, it tells you... Uh, yeah, it actually identifies every single thing on the back. I never, never actually looked at it. It's nice. It even gives you the uh, port and pin number for the uh, the direction and uh, motor pulses. Here's your heat sink motors. I kind of went through this in the other video. Uh, this is your uh, ESP32 Wi-Fi connection. I'm I'm working on that right now. I want to add a. Uh, wireless uh, mpg that i'm working on so yeah that's pretty much what comes in the box and the thing that we we're interested in really is uh to start off with if you're going to connect this thing to your computer to flash it you're going to use this usb port here and if you don't have power connected so you don't have the power side set up there's a jumper right here it says usb on it and I'm gonna throw one of them in there right now. And th this jumper, once you put it in, you don't wanna leave it connected once you connect power. So basically uh, put it in for programming and don't forget to take it out so you're not uh, back feeding power either through to your PC or from your PC into this board. That's their recommendation. They don't have a circuit diagram so I can't tell you exactly how that works but there you go plug that in now you can plug this into your uh, pc and uh, you can program the board over dfu and i'm going to go through that whole thing in the next video where uh, i'll i'll download the actual uh, gerbil hal software and set it up in uh, platform io and show you how to flash this thing